Thanks. We want to take you back to our top story now out of Roanoke. It was undoubtedly a traumatic day for Freight Car America, but police say the body count could have been higher. ABC 13 Surrey Crow continues our team coverage with more on what could have made the life-saving difference. Well, the security experts call it code yellow awareness, always being vigilant and being trained that at any moment an active shooter situation could happen to you. A few of them come in for lunch and they come in after their shift and you know we all talk and so my first thought was are they okay the sad news for ivory is not everybody was one employee dead three others wounded but roanoke police chief tim jones says the carnage could have been much worse today's circumstances could have been much worse had it not been due to the proactive steps taken uh, freight car America. Chief Jones says by the time police arrived, only minutes after that first 911 call, employees were already evacuating, a move he calls life saving. Tactical training expert Marco Galbraith agrees. It's just the basic criteria for when you hear gunshots or a violent workplace attack, what to do. The main thing is react immediately. You only have seconds to move. And with seconds to move, it appears the majority of employees at Freight America did just that. We always hear from instructors that we hear people say, this won't happen here. It happened here, we're in Roanoke. It happened at Smith Mountain Lake. For Ivory Spradlin, it happened today. Yeah, I never thought that I'd really have to worry about, you know, anything like that happening um, until this morning. Definitely some shaken up folks around here today. No seconds to move. That training needs to kick in immediately, say police, almost like second nature. And today, it appears that that training did kick in for many here. Live in Roanoke, Surrey Crow, ABC 13 News.